boys and girls, welcome to a new exciting and brand new Phenomenal Creations Fusion 9 tutorial here. My name is VK, thanks guys for stopping by. So this is the fifth episode in the series, uh, the four first one, really good tutorials if you want to check them out for the basics, a lot of cool stuff inside Fusion if you're new to Fusion, check them out in the cards up in the corner or the playlist uh, linked in the description. Alright, so this tutorial is a pretty good one, since this is the first one in the series where the uh, effect itself is something you can actually use as your main effect in your filmmaking life, and that is chroma keying, and if you don't know what chroma keying is, um, if you don't get the hint from what you're seeing on the screen right now, is that uh, it's the process and the method how you can separate your a subject uh, from a green or blue background and take away that background and then replace it with something else uh, to, for example, set yourself in like a newsroom environment or create uh, this uh, 3D set, a whole new world. You know, Hollywood do this all the time. So you probably know what a green screen is. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take away that uh, green screen and uh, get a really clean key and show you a couple methods how you can clean that key afterwards so you don't have a lot of nasty noise and stuff. You probably know what I mean if you have tried a chroma key sometimes before. And don't get uh, like uh, frustrated and you know, something like that because you see a lot of nodes in the flow area. This is just because I tried to stylize this a bit and was playing around. It. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks now. Let's go ahead and start the tutorial itself. Alright, so I have opened up a new project here in Fusion, I'll call it a Chroma Key Tutorial. And this is what we have. I have already dropped my uh, my footage here uh, as a node here. And if you have seen my, my previous tutorials or you are, have some basics in uh, Fusion, you know how to uh, get your footage here. Use a loader node to get your footage here. Okay, so the, uh, the effect I'm going to use today is the Delta Cure. It's a really powerful cure with a lot of options and stuff you can use. So let's go ahead and find the Delta Cure uh, from the effects panel here. And if you want to see all the, these tile pictures as I am, just go ahead and right click uh, on your flow air uh, panel and click and enable force all tile pictures. So you can see these tile pictures. I love to have them since then I know where everything is and what I'm doing. Okay, so let's connect these two clips by just taking the output to the input, like this. Uh, put the keyer on my second viewer and get the my original footage on, this, on the first viewer here. Let's uh, and then click the delta keyer and let's go to the tools panel here. And let's go ahead and, and pick a background color. And this was the stuff I really got confused. Like in After Effects, you want to pick a color, you just click on the pick and then you get a pick whip tool. But right now, I don't get a color picker, just a manual color selector. And that's not what I want. But the thing you how, how you get that uh, that color picker is that you click on the pick button and then you, uh, you hold that click. You just click and hold and then you just drag it around. So let's go to the first viewer here and try to get a really good uh, green here with some good luma values and... We can see in the first viewer how good we're doing. Usually it's something around the subject you should do always the color picking. So select that color that's pretty good. And then let's go ahead and click this uh, color palette here so we can see the alpha layer on this whole selection. This is how we can differ uh, differentiate uh, what things in the, in the foreground, this nastiness we have to fix. And in the background we also have something we need to fix out. Alright, so how we do this is going to the threshold for the mat panel here. We were in the key and now we're going to the mat here and we can play with the threshold a little bit. So let's go take the high, which is the foreground, let's drop down just a touch. And let's do the same thing in the low threshold. So we're cutting out those lights we don't want. Uh, when it comes to the threshold, don't play with that too much. If you go way beyond like somewhere here, you can get some serious color. Um, artifacts we don't want so just a little tiny bit does the trick usually we can also go to the clean foreground and and put some of that clean foreground just to help the key and also in the clean background doing the same thing just like this let's go ahead and click on that alpha panel again so we can see uh, our key here all right so now let's go ahead and work a little bit on these edges for the color spill uh, in my case i have a pretty good key here so what i do is just i can go to the um, erode or the you know, this erode uh, parameter in the math here and just play with the erode here so we don't have that really big highlight there that looks pretty good let's go to the fringing 
since the spill suppression is on, that's really good. And then we can play with, for example, the colors. If you're having some cyan, you can play with the, you can fight the greens by using these. Some really powerful parameters here, but I have a pretty good key here, so I don't think I have, I don't have too much green going on, so that's the power of the Delta Cure. It's really, a really powerful key here. So our next step is uh, what to do is to get rid of everything else uh, but in the backgrounds. We don't need the light stands and this, the red background, the wooden background. We need to get it that way. So what we do is we go ahead and create a garbage mat. It's basically a mask just subtracting everything else we have selected. So how we do this, we, we make an empty selection and uh, click on this little button here underneath our viewer which says add a poline mask. Let's click on that and then let's just make a rough mask around your subject like this just selecting the background and you here you have to keep in mind that if your actor is moving on a green screen you have to compensate and in case something you need to also animate the masking so it moves accordingly but my actor myself i'm not moving so much in the scene so i can just do this rough mask then just select it let's put it on top here so we can keep ourselves organized and then what we do is go ahead and take this um, output key here and hold the alt key on your keyboard and drop it on top of our delta keyer and select garbage mat. So what it does is now it subtracts everything we have selected in the mask here to take away from the delta keyer. So now we have a, just a really a clean image here. So my next really cool trick I want to show you is how you can clean your key so you don't get all, a lot of that nasty noise here. If we go ahead and play, uh, click play, you can see a lot of nasty noise uh, going on here. We don't want that. And what why this is happening is because if you decide to go use the chroma key and select to take away one specific color like this green here, then you will also take that exact same green information out of your, your subject. Even if I'm using black clothes, I still have a bit of this green, exact green hue on my body. That's just how RGB works, how cameras and sensors work. That's, you can power that. So what we can do is, uh, there's a couple methods how you can cope with this. The thing I like to use in this case is go to the tuning panel here. And then let's go ahead and uh, recover uh, the color information from the shadows. So if I go ahead and drag this to the left, we can see we're taking away that if, if I click more, um, like boost the shadows here, you can see the noise it's creating. So if you go ahead and recover this noise from our original clip here, you can see it cleans up that noise away. So when I hit play, it's a lot tighter noise, it looks a lot better. That's really good. And then you also, as you can see, it just brings a little bit of that green um, into my subject, but then we can, with color correction, take that away. So that's pretty cool. So now once our key is clean, what we can do is add a background to this. How we do this is go ahead and add a merge node, merge node here. And then we go ahead and add our background, which is this warehouse image I have. We can put that here. And what we can do here is take our, our, this, our Delta key, our key layer, take the output node, hold the alt key and select it, go to the foreground of our composition. And then, then let's do it, take the warehouse hold the alt key and put that to the background and then let's put the merge node on the second viewer and you can sometimes you can see something like this happening so uh, you have a bigger um, size on your the, on your subject than your background since at uh, the background layer is what uh, deciding final resolution of your composition so now the resolution of this comp is 800 to 560 pixels for this warehouse image um, I could have made it um, 1920 by 1080 but for this sake I just want to show you what you can do to help this out uh, one thing you can do here is for example now this this is not optimal when you're doing a final project, but I'm just showing you. is selecting your keying layer and then you're adding a transform node. Transform node here and just scale down the footage so it matches the scene. Like this. So that's something you can do. 
All right, from this point on, uh, the, basic, the basic keying is actually done. So if that's what everyone you were searching for this tutorial, you have basically now learned how to key out your footage. Congratulations, that's how you do it. It's pretty simple like this. But I'm gonna show you um, what you can do is you can color correct this uh, even further. So if you wanna make it look cool, then what you do is select the merge node and let's find a color corrector node here. Let's put the color correction on the second key here. And this is something, let's take away the update. Let's add what I like to do when I do this a really dystopian look. So I take the hue, it's something like a greenish, take the saturation down pretty far. Now let's So here I just added a real simple color correction just to give us some cool vibes in the scene. And that's pretty much it. And that's how you create the, the chroma keying um, thingy happening in your in your scene. So I hope you guys did like this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, did find something useful. This was pretty quick, uh, pretty easy. Uh, a lot of cool stuff happening. And I will have more uh, advanced keying tutorials coming up to this channel. Um, so that's really cool. And please, if you did like this, uh, don't forget to like this video, comment, tell me what you think of it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I have a lot of cool fusion projects coming up, and so don't give it your, ho your hopes on me. A lot of cool projects is coming on all the time. So please subscribe to the channel, and I guys see you in the next time. VK signing up for now.